Hello and uh, welcome to a post-match review of the President's Cup uh, Football Federation of Sri Lanka President's Cup 2020. The curtain raisers uh, today. The first game, uh, rather two games happening at the same time. One at Sugadasa Stadium, one at Racecourse. The game at Sugadasa Stadium between Blue Star and Murugas Mulla, which ended 3-1 uh, in favour of uh, Blue Star, getting all three points. They were leading 1-0 at half-time and uh, the second half they wrapped up the game, scoring a couple of more goals and uh, winning the game 3-1, uh, pretty comfortable. The game uh, we are reviewing is uh, the game between Upcountry Lions and Javali, which was played at race course. Uh, the game ended 3-all and uh, from kick-off it looked uh, a Javelin who dominated play, who had the ball in position. However, they were pretty poor in the final third uh, and uh, never uh, looked threatening at uh, the upcountry Lions goal. They controlled the midfield well. Abdul Latif uh, was the instrumental in the midfield, along with the uh, young Sandaruwan, the under-19 player, who was playing uh, for Javelin. The, the tournament rule stipulates one under-19 player should be on the field at any given time. So it was Javelin who was uh, threatening, however, around uh, the 26th minute mark, uh, it was upcountry Lions who took a surprising lead. Uh, the two defenders for Javelin, Sisera Rajawansa and uh, Francis, uh, called as T-Boy, both went into the same ball and headed uh, the ball right up. And Ashwak Ayub in goal, he never looked convincing to come up and collect it, uh, let the ball drop and the other under-19 player for upcountry line, Mohammad Nazar, was there to tap in and uh, give a surprising lead uh, for upcountry Lions. Then it was uh, Ibrahim uh, Ola Di Meji who created for upcountry Lions. If you can remember, those who follow football, Ibrahim he was playing for Renon and uh, had a good uh, stint with Renon as well. So he was the main threat for upcountry Lions and as he created the second goal for them with the uh, Breakthrough goal. Javelin were on the attack and uh, missed the uh, lost the position. And it was uh, Ibrahimi who sent in uh, Hilush Sampath, another youngster, played for Kingswood uh, last year. And uh, he was had his he had the space to beat the defenders and uh, one on one against the goalkeeper Ashwak. You got a hand to it, but couldn't stop uh, with the power of the shot and uh, country lines go 2-0 up uh, rather surprisingly as uh, they never looked threatening before that. Javelin on the other hand got a lifeline. The penalty over decision could have gone either way and uh, luckily for Javelin they got a lifeline where uh, Rizka uh, collided with the defender and the uh, referee pointed to the spot. Uh, Malaga Pereira stepped up and converted. So at half time it was 2-1 uh, in favour of upcountry Lions. And uh, in the second half it was all javelin and uh, they could have easily wrapped up the game. They had several chances coming their way and not capitalising. However, Abdul Latif got the second goal. He danced through a couple of defenders and composed Fijinish. Uh, made it 2-1. Uh, then Javelin immediately responded with a brilliant volley by Malaga Pereira. Marin Jude uh, creating uh, in the left wing and the volley sublimely finished uh, by Malaga, giving Javelin a, a lead uh, for the first time in the game. They were 3-2 up. They had uh, the game under control. Malaga Pereira once again had an opportunity. Mohamed uh, Safran who came uh, as a substitute Two had an opportunity, a 50-50 chance you could say, and they didn't capitalize as the game drifted away. Then uh, at the dying minutes, uh, Navin, or rather uh, Ravin Kumar for Javelin committed a silly foul inside the box where his uh, attacker had already passed him and being on the wrong side of the uh, ball, he put his leg through and uh, committed the foul, giving away a penalty where Ibrahim uh, stepped up and converted 
and that was the game for Javelin. You could say uh, three points uh, lost rather than a point gain. So this was the game where either of the team could have got the three points. It, it was a game where Javale needed the three points because the next game is up against uh, Blue Star and it's not going to be an easy task and uh, plenty, for, plenty to play for and uh, mind you they need to win the next two games in order to have the slightest of chances to go into the uh, knockout stage that's why the game was so critical for Javelin to get that three points because um, in paper I'm sure they had to go and get the three points against Morgas Muller but now with the loss with a draw rather and uh, losing two points it's going to be a tough task uh, for Javelin uh, to progress in this uh, competition and, uh, and they, they really need to look into some of the areas where they need to improve their playing as far as our country lands goes they uh, have a pretty young squad and uh, they are also uh, having rather need to look into a couple of uh, more experienced players and some important uh, attacking players come into the for the next uh, couple of games and for the future ahead so an overall an average game with plenty of goals to enjoy the spectators were not allowed onto the stadium however they were glimpses of uh, pockets of uh, fans who watched the game so it's going to be an interesting tournament we'll have to wait and see so we'll see you with another post-match preview of another game of the President's Cup 2020.